Hello there. I'm going to post a video. Um, I'm going to post a video. I'm going to post a link to the video that I watched a few days ago that inspired me to make this. Um, I'm not sure if his name is Christian or Kristen. Chris, it's K-R-I-S-T-I-N. And my apologies for if I mispronounced it. He um, and in the link, if you are interested in shift registers and Arduino, he does an excellent job of explaining it. And he does a seven-segment LED, so I f flattened it out. And what I ended up doing is an Arduino Uno. The two wires on the low side are the five volts out that, that run all of this stuff, which is really hard to see all because there's wires everywhere. And the, the other three wires are for the um, the clock, the data, and the latch, which he explains very well. So I won't go over all of that side of it because I'm going to link to his video. Um, it's always good to have marbles, right? We've got marbles here too. So I have a 3D printer, and I made a, um, a faceplate for this array of 8 by 8 and I ran out of shrink tubing so I had to use some tape, but basically I've got 64 LEDs, 64 resistors, and what I like to do is um, take the um, where the positive wire is and run the uh, resistor in line to the pin and then cover the whole thing with shrink tubing so it makes it nice and sturdy and you don't have any short circuits. The You'll see the on the side, maybe you can see if I hold up here, all the grounds are touching each other, so it's a little sloppy on the um, soldering, but it works. So every row, let me see if I can hold it up here, every row, oh, there's a good example on the bottom. I just took a little uh, pair of pliers and bent each negative, or the cathode, to the right, to the right, to the right, to the right, and then I just put a bead of solder, 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 and then so every row is coming out to this side, and then solder them all together up the side, and then we have one black wire somewhere here. Looks like it's on the top there, right here. It's going to ground. Well, when we get down to here, uh, let me get my camera my video oriented here. This is just on an iPod Touch. I have eight shift registers. This is number one, number two, number three, number four, five, six, seven, nothing in the middle, eight. Those correlate to number shift register one is sending data to the top row. Um, once it um, latches and then we set um, the clock low again until we're sending more data, shift register 1 sends the data it had out to the second shift register and, and then shift register 1 takes the new input and draws it and then we do this cycle again. So uh, hard, hard to explain uh, for me, I guess. But um, so right now, this code is very simple. We're just going through um, right to left, LEDs one through eight, and then back down to one. And you'll see that since we're using the shift registers, all I'm doing is sending the data to the first row, and then with the wiring, the shift register itself. Um, echoes it back on the second row. Then the second row sends its data to the third row, and then the third sends it to the fourth row, and the fourth to the fifth, the sixth, the seventh, eighth. So everybody's one behind the first, and it makes this interesting uh, little zigzag uh, because it's just moving the pattern um, one by one by one through the five, six, um, what are those, the 595s? See if I can remember off the top of my head, the 74HC595. Um, so that was a really bad explanation, but um, take a look at his video. So 
what I'm ultimately going to do is just play around with the code. Uh, my code's virtually the same as what he's using. Um, let me see if I can do something interesting here or visual. Um, pretty much the same. We're setting up the pins. We're putting things in array, and I'm not using the second and third array. That was for some testing. I'm using the first one. Um, we set up our output pins. Um, I initiate them through a loop. And then uh, a lot of comments because I'm not using this. This is, you know, testing, testing. Now, this top um, for loop um, goes one through uh, not one through eight. Picks up the uh, items in the array uh, called pattern. Picks up the one, the two, the four, the eight, the sixteen, da da da, da all the way across. And then um, the next loop um, reverses it. So we go to the um, the top placeholder in the array, and then we minus minus and go down one. We go down one. So um, that's probably clear as mud, but um, I'm not good at teaching. Um, but I understood it, and I'm very happy with it because now I can just try different patterns. I'm going to try doing Tetris pieces that just randomly fall from top to bottom because everything really literally goes from top to bottom. There's no way to program the bottom line by itself. It's being handled, well, every line below the first line is being handled by proxy from the first line. We're only sending data to the first shift register, which is, in this case, the top row. And then the top row sends it, the shift register that's controlling the top row sends its buffer to the second row, the second row's buffer goes to the third one, the third goes to the fourth and on down. So it's going to be interesting to try to create animations without gaps and the right, and um, in the right positions, but it should be a fun project. So thanks very much and um, glad to share. It was a lot of fun.